What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Hope all you're having a great day so far today. Um, getting into this episode of GH. Um, honestly, we all knew that Jagger's plan was going to blow up in his face. Like, with the whole pharmacist and all that, we knew that shit wasn't going to work. Of course not. You know, I don't blame Ava for being pissed because he was so sure of himself. He didn't even have a plan B. And that's the problem with Jagger. He's throwing things at the wall and seeing what is going to stick and hope and hoping that whatever he's throwing at the wall is going to stick to Sonny. Nothing's sticking so far because he doesn't have well thought out plans. Like he's coming up with stuff on the fly and it's not working. Like he needs to cut his losses and just stop trying to go after Sonny because it's, it's pathetic at this point. Like, like I said, if you ain't got nothing concrete to go after him for, let it go. Because all Jagger is doing is creating things. Like, he's trying to create crimes to go after Sonny for. Like, dude, you, you're not going to get him. So now you're trying to go after his family members now? Like, you're going to lose. Because I thought it was just downright ridiculous him trying to arrest Christina. I felt like that was stupid. Because I'm like, the charges are bogus. I think he's trying to get her an attempted murder of Ava or whatever. Like, those charges are so bogus. And that's why I feel like also the charges against Ava are bogus. I feel like Dante arrested her prematurely. Um, because let's be honest, the evidence is just, it's not there. Like he arrested Ava based off of photos. I agree with Jagger though. I feel like those photos can interpret a whole different story. I feel like those photos are inconclusive. I feel like this is a case of he said, she said at this point. And I feel like the charges against Ava need to be dropped with prejudice. The charges against Christina that Jagger just trumped up on her. They need to be dropped because neither there's no case on either one, to be honest. With the flimsy evidence, there's no case. Like they're just wasting time at this point. You know what I mean? And Jagger just trying to go with Sonny. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. Cause I think that's his next plan arrest Christina hoping that what Sonny come after him and he could get him on that charge that's why I feel like Sonny needs to listen to Jason at this point because Jason is making a lot of sense why would you go after Jagger or try to take him out when you know he's still a fed that's stupid now if he was a, a civilian that'd be a bit different but you going after a fed you better make damn sure that there's no evidence I mean nothing no witness no nothing that can come back on you but even still, the feds gonna know that Sonny has something to do with it, even if they couldn't prove it. That's bad for business. You know what I'm saying? The feds would be all over Sonny like white on rice. It would be horrible for his business. They'd be watching every little thing he do. They'd be watching everything his people do, his associates do. They wouldn't be able to breathe without the feds being there. You know what I'm saying? You really want that kind of heat. Sonny needs to think. Like, he really needs to think about this. You want to go after Jagger, you need to go after him a different way. Same way Jagger need to go after Sonny a different way. They're both going after each other in a dumb way. That's going to have major consequences if either one of them succeed. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to have major blowback. Sonny killing the Fed is going to be horrible for him and his business. I mean, horrible. That's going to be the dumb one of the dumbest moves he could possibly make. Oh, well, Jagger's forcing my hand. Dude, come up with another way. You want to take him down a peg or two? Take his badge from him. Find some dirt. You can't tell me that Jagger been a fed all these years and he ain't got no dirt nowhere on him. Nothing. Find it. He got something on him. He got to be dirty somewhere. Corrupt. Um, It was funny as hell when Jason found the pharmacist and Scott ran off. <laughs> I was like, Scott, you little chicken shit. You're going to run away. I said, Scott is a fool. Um, But I am glad that, you know, the pharmacist finally snitched on Valentine and stuff like that so now that secret is out um that's a good thing but i know sonny gonna be on the warpath when he find out because i know he gonna be trying to find um Valentine now um that pharmacist was dropping more names than a ten dollar snitch oh ava didn't initially pay me to do anything she just threw around some threats but she wanted me to you know give Sonny a zero dose and all that like he was just dropping all type of names and snitching I said well damn 
Like, I mean, I get it. You know, you got Jason Morgan all up in your face threatening you. I mean, I, I get it. You know, that's some scary stuff. Um, so anyway, moving on from that. I, I get where TJ coming from. You know, I do. I get it. You know, he wants Molly to be more present with this whole, you know, funeral for the baby and the naming and all that. I get it. He wants her to be more present. I, I understand that. But he can't get mad at her for grieving how she's grieving. You know what I'm saying? You can't force people to grieve how you want them to grieve. Molly is throwing herself into work, but she does need to be there for him. You know what I'm saying? And let him be there for her. But he just can't tell her how to grieve, though. They need to figure out a way to come together. But they're going to have to do that when both are ready. You know, TJ can't force her to face it right now. She has to want to face it on her time. You know, you can't force that. Um, I'm glad, like I said before, that, you know, Curtis and Stella are there. And, you know, he, you know, got Jordan, too. You know, you got family there to help you through this process, you know, and I agree with Stella. He should, you know, as far as the last name go, that's easy. You know, Lansing Ashford, that's just easy. You know what I mean? As far as the first name, I, I probably have a feeling that they're going to name the child after, um, after, uh, Curtis's mother. I wouldn't be surprised if they named the child Irene. Um, at this point, I don't blame TJ for going to Ava for answers. I, I seen some people say, oh, why would he believe her or whatever? I don't know if it's technically believing her. I just feel like he want answers. Cause I'm pretty sure, you know, Molly probably told him what Christina said and this, that, and the third. So I'm thinking he just want to hear Ava's version, you know. But I, I do feel like this ain't on Ava. Like what happened to Christina was a tragedy, but it was an accident and it was not on Ava. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, Christina had no business going there. She shouldn't have went there. Like, you know you're pregnant. You know this is stress. You should have never went there. Like, you put yourself and that child in a bad situation. And I feel like Molly is starting to realize that. You know what I'm saying? That this ain't even Ava's fault. This is Christina. You know? Um, so I think that's why Molly was trying to keep her distance from Christina. Because Alexis sitting there talking about, oh, you know... You know, I just feel like Alexis tries to play devil's advocate. Like, she's trying to keep the peace. She keeps trying to be the peacemaker. Alexis need to move on from that because it ain't going to work. You can't keep sitting here trying to play peacemaker for these for these girls. You can't do it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come to a head. There's going to be a confrontation between them. It's, 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 not, it's unavoidable at this point. There's no way to avoid a blow up. It's going to happen. You know what I mean? It's going to happen, whether Alexis wanted or not. All she's doing is delaying the inevitable. That's all she doing. And I feel like Christina, you know, now that she know that she can have kids in the future again, I feel like she needs grief counseling, you know, because she's still sitting there in the hospital telling her son, you I want Ava dead. I want this, 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 and this. I'm like, that is not something that you say in public, Christina, because you saying that publicly and now jaggered and arrested your ass for attempted murder or whatever i'm like you need to stop talking just stop talking and i'm glad sonny basically told her no i'm not taking nobody out for you because i'm not gonna you know have that on your conscience i agree with sonny on that one no <laughs> you know what i'm saying because once you do that once you order a hit or you don't want to take somebody out you can't walk it back you can't take it back it's done you know what i'm saying so she might want to think about that um I, I just got that feeling that when Rick come to town, when he come back to town, it's gonna be hell to pay. I got a feeling this is this is gonna reunite his feud with Sonny all over again. Because now their daughters are feuding, it, it's definitely gonna light a fire under Rick to start feuding with Sonny. You know, it's basically gonna be Sonny and Christina versus Molly and Rick. And I think that might be a bit interesting. Um so anyway, moving on from that. At this point, I don't know why Anna keep thinking she's going to get information out of um, Brendan. Like her asking him about, oh, you got Valentine stashed away somewhere. I love how, how Brendan plays that game with her. and He let her know, like, does Laura know about you letting Valentine go? I was like, exactly. Checkmate. Like, Anna need to stop running her little lips. Because at the end of the day... 
if Brennan wanted to, he could say a lot. It, it's a lot that Laura need to know about her little police commissioner. Like it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Anna, I feel like is not doing her job. You know, I can understand why Laura want to find Valentine. I mean, mostly for her granddaughter. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure she know Valentine would never hurt her in any way, shape, or form. But that's still her granddaughter, and she want, you know, she want to locate her. You know, she doesn't even have no communication with her. You know, so I could see why that would piss Laura off, and why she would enlist Brennan's help and Anna's help in finding, you know, Valentine and Charlotte. I totally get it. Um, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes the way that is written, I feel like Anna, she's out of her league when it comes to Brennan. I feel like Brendan is always two steps ahead of Anna. Like, every time she thinks she's about to counter him, he come back. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, she just no match at this point. Like, she need to let it go. Stop confronting that man. Stop say, accusing him of things because you ain't got nothing. You ain't got no proof on that dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, he too slick for her. And that's the thing. Anna needs to tap into that old Anna because I feel like Anna of back in the day could hang with a cat like Brendan. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she done got a little soft in her age. Um, <laughs> she might have got a little, you know, got a little soft. You know, Anna need to bring that spice back. Cause I feel like Anna could hang with him if she really wanted to. She just she need to pull that fire out of her again. Um, I wonder what's going on with Lulu. So now that Laura got the call about Lulu, so is Lulu coming back? Cause I heard that they were planning on bringing Lulu back, but I heard M. Ryland wasn't gonna be playing her for whatever reason. I guess the producers, I guess, and the casting director didn't want to bring him back as her, which I think is ridiculous. Um, I think it's dumb, but I mean, I think it's about time for Lulu to come out of her coma and whatnot. It's been long overdue. It's been, what, five years? Like, it's definitely time. Um, so anyway, moving on from that, I am so freaking happy that Mac has finally forgiven Cody. Like, thank God. Um, because his anger towards him going on this long has been totally ridiculous. And it's time that he forgive that man. You know what I mean? Like, forgive him. Like, you totally need to forgive him and move on. You know, so I'm glad that Cody got his family and whatnot. Because I really want them to flesh the Cody character out more. But you know, another character, and, I, and you know, she wasn't a part of this episode. But I'm going to say it because I just realized something. It's a lot of characters on the show that that have been on for quite some time and they're still not fully fleshed out. Like we still don't know a lot about that character. Like look at Jordan. We still don't even know Jordan's maiden name. We still have not met Jordan's parents. We know nothing about her mama, her daddy, does she have siblings? And mind you, we got Curtis's aunt Stella up here. We got his daddy. You know, I guess Marshall no longer with the show, but we had Marshall. We even seen Portia parent and her brother. You know what I'm saying? We've seen her father and brother. Like, why are we not getting anything with Jordan about her parents and stuff? Like, where she come from? You know, it's kind of weird. And she was on the show before both of them. I just feel like they need to start taking time to really, like, do some character development and really start fleshing these people out and giving them some real story. Um, but, yeah, I'm glad, you know, that situation with Matt got sorted out. And I'm glad, you know, James was happy to find out that Cody is his uncle. And I'm glad Maxie, you know, hugged her son and all that type of stuff. But she also punished that boy because him keep running away. That needs to stop. You know what I'm saying? He need to nip that in the bud ASAP. Um, but real quick, back to the whole TJ situation. I, I, I can understand why TJ went to go see Ava instead of Christina. I can see why, even though I wouldn't trust a lot of what Ava say, because, you know, Ava, she ain't going to tell you the full story. But I feel like if he went to go see Christina, I feel he would definitely he wouldn't be able to contain himself. I feel like he's going to definitely kick her while she down. Like he's going to say some hurtful shit. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's best that for right now he don't go see her, you know, for that purpose. But um, anyway. That was pretty much the whole episode. Hit the comment section. Let me know what you all thought. And I will see you all later. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great weekend. See you all later. Peace.